Hi everybody. With all the discussion uh, surrounding the Model 3 only having a central screen, I decided to do a little uh, trick <laughs> and uh, mounted uh, a tablet on my Fluence uh, ZE. Uh, here you have the, the Fluence traditional speedometer and uh, here we have a, a tablet about 10 inch running uh, Fluence ZS Pi. We have a speedometer here on the top left corner just like in a Tesla Model 3. So the idea is to drive and uh, cover the traditional speedometer and see how how does it feel. What do you guys think? Okay, I have uh, no idea if this will work but um, I have my camera in front of uh, the road now I'm looking at the camera so I am looking at the place uh, I look when I'm driving to the road okay and now I'm looking to the traditional dashboard the speedometer okay so when I want to check the speed or to drive I'll do I'll do like this okay now I'm driving checking speed driving checking speed okay with the um, Tesla Model X uh, Model 3 sorry <laughs> uh, I wish <laughs> Tesla Model 3 um, central screen it would be something like this uh, now I'm looking at the road okay now I'm checking my speed road speed okay road road so definitely you don't need to 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 move your head okay um, so let's see how this works uh, on the road all right I have my traditional dashboard covered okay and um, I have my speed here, top left uh, corner of my tablet. So I'm going for a ride and see see how it goes. Uh oh, there's a dog. Okay. So my first impression is that um, taking your eyes off the road to read the speed uh, in this position, it's not much different from from looking at the traditional dashboard okay uh, in front of the steering wheel and um, another thing is that I like the big uh, digits the digital readout so I can read the speed 46 47 right now don't have to look at the needle and figure out where the needle is so it could be a slight advantage to traditional dashboard okay in terms of um, looking there instead of looking the at the usual place it well it it really you need to get used to it a little bit okay uh it's not um it gets uh, sorry have to focus on the driving <laughs> um so it gets a little uh, taking used to 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 um, to look there instead of looking at the, the original place but this helps to have it uh, to have it covered but um, as for my first impression I really don't think this is a, a security issue 
because you don't have to move your head you just uh, move your gaze and um, the speed it's right there okay also it's not it's not very difficult to read the the, the power okay I have here um, Fluence ZSPy which uh, also has a needle with the power so let's do a, here a, a little launch not that the Fluence Z can can launch but um, okay this is a kilometers per hour not miles okay but uh, it's pretty easy to oh sorry so it turns out it's not a good idea to to launch <laughs> an EV with uh, uh, a tablet hanging out from elastic bands and glue tape and whatever okay so I'll just drive normally okay and um, to finish uh, my first impressions of driving with the central screen I think it's not that big of a deal uh, if you have uh, doubts you just stick a piece of paper with some some sticky tape uh, just stick a piece of paper on the um, central part of your car write the speed on the top left corner and just go for a ride cover cover your traditional dashboard speedometer and choose a safe place of course safety first and um, check it out yeah, then you you can um, have a good opinion or a bad opinion on on the central screen uh, so that's that's my advice uh, thanks for watching and bye bye